thank you for joining me today. Today we're gonna do my spring decorate with me in my kitchen. Sorry, no makeup. Um, had a little bit of a, a boo-boo with the leg, so I'm in a brace. We're gonna start in the coffee bar area that my husband and I built when we moved in. It was just a blank area. We bought the cabinets from Lowe's, the butcher block, from Lowe's and the shelves were the extra pieces. So we're gonna start at the very top shelf. I have a couple white canisters. I got a Dollar General. I have a sugar container that was from Walmart. I'm gonna take a print that I got off of Etsy in a frame that I got from Goodwill. We're just gonna set that up there. And then a couple of the flavored syrups. I got the, these were soap dispensers at Dollar General. And the tags I just made from, some of the tags I got from Dollar General. Then I'm gonna add for the big travel mugs, I got for $4.99 at Big Lots. Big Lots has some wonderful um, coffee mugs for not a whole lot of money. I'm just gonna set those up there. and a little jar I got from Dollar General that I'm gonna put the, our long spoons in there. And that's what our coffee bar looks like. And then just some empty drawers where all our coffee, our tea, and all that stored down there. Now, up here above my refrigerator, I have a basket with some cutting boards, a vase with some lavender, and just some candles. Over here on the, the wall next to the fridge, I have a cabinet that I picked up at a yard, a church yard sale that I turned into my spice rack, along with a picture from Hobby Lobby and a clock that I got from Timu that I painted like a, a sagey green to go with it. Well, unfortunately, what I filmed yesterday on the counters got corrupted. So this is a take two, different shirts, still no makeup. So here we go, number two. This is my my cooktop area. I've got a cutting board that I got from TJ Maxx. I have it screwed to the wall because it's quite heavy and I didn't want it to fall. I've got, sorry for the dogs barking, um, a cutting board from Walmart that I stained. I'm gonna place that right here.
a salt and pepper shaker holder I got from TJ Maxx for $7.99, I believe. A utensil holder that's oval shaped that I got off of Amazon that contains all my silicone utensils. Place that right there. Now that's my cooktop area. And then we're gonna move over to the right side of my cooktop. I'm gonna start off with an oval riser platter that I got from a cookbook, a Fanny Farmer cookbook. I'm just going to set in the back there. I've got some mini cutting boards I got from Hobby Lobby. Some black measuring cups that I got from Dollar General. Our butter bell. Set that in there. I use that every day. And a little flower bouquet just to kind of bring a touch of spring in. I got that from Timu. I'm just gonna kind of put that in. And that's. Now we're going to move to what would be the left side of my sink. I've got a picture frame that, a print that I got from Etsy and the frame came from a local thrift store. I'm going to set that right there. Now I know the trend is to block the outlets because they're so ugly, but in my house we're constantly using these outlets. It would it make sense for me to block them? We have very few outlets in this kitchen. I have a plant riser from Amazon and a plant that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna set that there. And that's gonna complete that side of my kitchen counters. And then, so on my sink, all I have is my soap dispenser and a little ramekin that I got from Dollar General with my scrub brush in it. And then we're gonna move to this side. Now, this is my long run of counter. I have the microwave, the toaster. These are things that we use on a daily basis. The one thing that I did do, let me drop it down a bit. I was watching a video hanging with the hawks, and she had put a peg rail underneath her cabinet and hung things on it. And I thought that was a fantastic idea, but unfortunately, my cabinet to counter ratio is very shallow and I really don't have the real estate to put a peg rail but what I did is hang these hooks up here that I could use with the same principle as a peg rail. So I'm going to start right here next to the sink. I'm going to 
take a canister with our pancake mix. The canister came from Walmart. Next to it, I've got a marble and wood pedestal or cake sand that I got from Ross with our oats. And then I have this little basket that I got from Hobby Lobby with just a little fake plant that I plopped in there to kind of set right there. And next to it, another little fake plant that was on discount at Hobby Lobby. Set right back there. What's that? Now, next to that, I've got some cutting boards. Cutting boards, I usually get at Ross, um, TJ Maxx, Big Lots, pretty much anywhere I can find them. I'm going to hook that one up there and then place the second one right next to it. And then I'm going to take this little creamer pitcher that I got at a local thrift store. And I'm going to bring it up there. Next to that, I've got a spring um, towel, kitchen towel. And I'm going to hook that right there. Next to that, I took a print and a frame again from the thrift store. I rarely buy frames brand new. I usually go to the thrift store and buy the frames because I can get them for a dollar too. Now that one, I hung it from a little piece of leather rope because it wouldn't hook up over. I found this adorable little colander at Hobby Lobby yesterday. And I just think it's so cute. And that I'm going to hang again with another little piece of leather rope up there. And it kind of ties into the picture. So I've got the white, white. Now, <clears throat> this I can change up through the seasons. Or if I get tired of it, I can just mix and match and change it up. But that's... To the right of the sink. I do have LED strip lights running underneath these counters just to add to the lighting in here. Um, the countertops for here at the house, I would love to change them. Unfortunately, we just don't have the budget. Again, I've mentioned the wallpaper that I've gotten from Amazon, the, the faux brick. Next, we'll be moving on to the island. Now, on my island, all I did was take a table runner, fold it in half, place it up here. I have a candle snuffer, a candle that I got from, I think, Big Locks, a basket with leather handles that another thrift store find, a faux rosemary plant off of Amazon. And then we just usually stick our fruit in here, like bananas and stuff. And at the end of the island, I have my tea tops. And that completes the Decorate With Me for spring.